Tikal, the ancient Mayan city nestled in the northern rainforests of Guatemala. Since its founding more than 1,500 years ago, there have been undoubtedly countless historic events that have taken place here. One of the most significant that occurred, although quite recent in historical terms, probably won't make it into any history books. For it was here that in 1977, George Lucas sent a crew to shoot scenes for his upcoming film. It would be called Star Wars. This was the rebel base on Yavin 4, from where the rebels launched their deciding offensive on the Death Star. Oh yeah. Here I am at Temple 5 at Tikal, made famous in the movie Star Wars, Episode 4, A New Hope, when the Millennium Falcon flies into the Rebel base and you see the view over the jungle and you see the pyramid. That's that screen debut. As a fan of that movie, walking in and hearing the sounds of the actual jungles of Yavin 4, I now wonder if more came from that shoot besides those unforgettable vistas. I've often wondered just exactly where George came up with the creepy sounds uttered by the Tuscan Raiders, otherwise known as Sand People. According to the internet, the geniuses at ILM used a pitch adjustment on a donkey brain. Okay. But we also know that George was friends with Francis Coppola, who has a place nearby where he undoubtedly heard this. That's a howler monkey. I think that's where they got the sound for the Sandman in Star Wars. Maybe he did get that sound from a donkey. I mean, who am I to argue with the interwebs? But my question is, why? When it was right there on Yavin 4. Who knows, maybe it was in a movie before that, but as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't.